Hey, I'm back again. Um, so I do have a full face tutorial for you guys today. Obviously, it's not done yet. I've just gone on basic foundation and my eyebrows, which I'm not afraid to show you because they're nice and plucked, looking lovely. Um, and that also includes a first impression of the Violet Voss lashes, which I'm going to include in this look. Um, but like I said, it's like a drugstore haul slash first impressions for the eyes. Just to let you guys know. And I'm not used to doing this whole talking to the camera thing. I'm used to doing a voiceover. So if I do something freaky or say um a lot, I guess I'm just going gonna go ahead and like apologize because it's, it's it's gonna happen. I have bought there were six of them total. I bought four. Milani just released these eyeshadow palettes. Look at that. Just just look. It actually, actually the reason I bought this is because I've been eyeing um, the Venus palettes by Lime Crime, and I know, Lime Crime, controversy, whatever. I think the Venus palettes are beautiful. It, what happened with them happened. I just think they're beautiful. And I thought I was eyeing this palette because this orange right here looks to me in the box like one of the Venus palette oranges does, like, you know, that fall pumpkin orange, and I don't have an orange like that, so this one instantly my attention. Granted, it's not a dupe for the Venus palette in the slightest. There's no burgundies in here. No, there's no black in here. I mean, no really dark brown, really. No reddish brown. Really just that one color that's similar. <laughs> but that's the one that I picked it up for. And anyway, this is the first palette. I am going to do swatches, and I think this is the one I'm going to do my eye, eye look with here in a little bit. Um, but this one is the palette 05 Earthy Elements. And then I think I'm going to jump to the other end of the spectrum and show you guys this one. And this is like a more of a smoky, cool tone, like a blue themed palette. It's actually um, number 03, Smoky Essentials. Um, I'm actually excited about this palette for two reasons. You have seen me do a tutorial with the Bella, I think it's a satin finish, the cobalt blue and the navy blue. Um, eyeshadows, the singles. I'm, when I swatch this one, I'm going to get those out. It may take me a while to find them, but I'm going to get them out. Because I want to see how this Milani Blue compares to the others. Because, I mean, if, if you're buying this solely for the blue and you already own the Bella ones and you see them swatched together, and let's say they're identical, I have no idea. I haven't opened these yet to swatch. You may not be interested in it at that point. I also bought it because um, of these two colors right here. This cool toned taupe is really pretty like can you just see that as the perfect crease color right there it, it looks straight up matte in the palette the blue looks like a satin um and the black the black and the tan also look matte um here i think that's supposed to be like your highlight brow bone shade you know and they do give you more of these of this shade than they do any of the others and this like smoky one, like a slate blue color, um, it does remind me of one that's in my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette, shoot. And I don't remember which shade it was, but it also reminds me of that one and it's in one of the Naked palettes, it's that Naked one, because I've thought about getting the Naked one palette. Um, and it has like a slate blue color, kind of like this, so depending on how pigmented this is, I mean that knocks out one of those colors right there for me, and it was drugstore price. Speaking of which, the prices of these, I, I bought them at CVS, they were $10.49 a palette, but they were on sale this week. Um, for if you spend $10, you get a $4 extra buck, which if you don't know CVS's policy, that's like money for the store. So I bought two of them, got an $8 extra buck, turned around and used it to buy the other two. So, I mean, I think, including the rest of my haul, I think I spent close to $20 to do, which is not bad at all, considering I got more than just these eye palettes to show you. So yeah, that's the second one. The third one, I'm going to jump kind of staying in the cool range, but jumping into the neutrals a bit, is this palette right here. And they're all kind of the same layout, of course. They've got this really pretty gold edging. One thing you all are going to love, especially me, since I'm a college student, practically broken, I can't afford nice brushes. I'm not even lying right now. Um, they, this comes with a brush, like a dual-ended brush, like a flat you know, lid brush, and then a looks sort of like a fluffy crease brush here on the other end. That's a brush. That is not a sponge tip applicator. Super impressed. Thank you for stepping up your game. We all love you, Milani. 
So yeah, there's a really pretty shimmery highlight, which I think the other two were matte. No, I lied, sorry. The first one was also shimmery. But here's like a lighter shimmery highlight shade. Another lighter taupe than the first. A little bit lighter, not as cool toned, a little bit slightly... I mean, it's still cool, but not as cool. I don't hope I'm not blinding you with my lights right now. And then there's a really pretty... Like, I don't even know... I hope you guys can see this right now. This is a really pretty, shiny, straight up taupe. Like every time I wear brown eyeshadow, my mom goes, oh, it looks taupe, it looks taupe. No, mom, that is taupe. And I'm gonna wear it and I'm gonna show it to her and say, hey mom, I'm wearing taupe today. And see if she says it before I do. But I kind of want to pair this, that shade right there with like my Morphe 35T palette, the 35 taupe palette, because I actually don't think I have one like this in the taupe palette. And I don't know, I'm so excited to swatch that puppy, you have no idea. And then we're in our first medium matte brown, which is nice. A really shimmery pink, which kind of reminds me of the color um, Prosciutto and Shell in my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette, except way bigger quantity there than what I get in my Lorac. And I'm trying to get my camera to focus for you all. See, I don't know if you can tell, it's like a shiny pink. And then of course your essential matte, matte black. And this is the only one of the palettes that I picked up so far that had a matte black. I think it was the only one. There were two more palettes. One was um, like vivid paints or vivid, vivid something. A lot of color pretty much. It had like a really pretty purple that I was interested in. But then it also had like a satin green. And like a matte bright blue. Like an electric blue. Not neon but electric you know. That's not really my thing. Like, I have a couple of brighter color palettes, and the only one I really use is my Kat Von D Me Vita Loca palette, and, like, the like on the back here, I didn't show you guys. I'll just go ahead and show you. They make, like, they have a step-by-step -step instructions on how to create an eye look with this palette, which is great. But the one on the back of that palette made the poor girl look like a clown. Like, unless you're into that really, really bold makeup, I just, I didn't have as much of a use for that one, and I was trying to be somewhat frugal, like I said. And the other one, um, it was also like a neutrals, warmer neutrals than these. It was a lot warmer. It had gold, like a gold shimmery shade for the lid, and I thought that was gorgeous. Goldish bronze, I almost bought that one. But like I said, I had to pick and choose, so I only got four of the six. And the last one that I got is number four, and this one I'm excited about. Like, I'm also a little afraid, because I've gotten my hopes up. On products before for this reason and they disappoint me the reason I'm excited about this one look at these colors and tell me they do not remind you of the Tartlet palette just a little bit I mean it's not a dupe for the Tartlet palette it's a little sad of me to have these hopes for this when I'm sitting here thinking Tartlet palette I have wanted the original Tartlet palette for so long but for some reason, every time I go to make, like, an expensive purchase, there's something better or newer that comes along that catches my eye, and it's on sale, and I end up getting it instead of the Tartlet palette every single time. And it's horrible. Like, I see people do these gorgeous cut crease looks with, like, that soft pink there, you know, similar to that, and this color, and this color, and I just, I can't, I can't do it because I don't have the Tartlet palette. I'm hoping I can create a cut crease look similar to something that I could achieve with that with this. I mean they're not gonna be the same quality you know like those shadows are super soft and blendable. I'm not sure how this is gonna swatch at all. It, it may take some building. The colors may not be exactly right but I'm hoping I can get a similar look with a way cheaper palette. I mean I got if I'd paid full price for all of these I got four for the price that the Tartlet palette would cost me so I mean I can't really complain there and way more shadows. But anyway, yeah, this one's got a matte, more of a white highlight, whereas the others were like a shimmery white or a cream. And then I have a nice matte medium brown, which is really pretty. This pink is more of a bright pink than the pink from the um, other palette, which was called Must Have Neutrals. And by the way, this was number 01, Must Have Neutrals. This is number 04, Plum Basics. I love, I'm a sucker for purple. But anyway, this is a really shimmery baby pink. It looks a little bit more bold than the last pink. Definitely like a shimmery satin shade. No glitter or anything. Just like a slight shine. Whereas this one up here in the corner is like a purpley lilac-y pink. And I don't know if I can get my camera to focus on it. But this shade here in the corner 
I mean, you can kind of tell just a little from this, but this has got some chunky glitter in it. These two are more of a satin, chunky glitter. This is what I'm hoping to be is like a matte, like a dark plum purple. And then I have a satin, more vibrant purple here. This is more like a brownish purple. This one looks more like true purple. I also got this blush by Milani. This is pretty much like a Milani haul at this point. And this is the Luminoso brush. I'm thinking it was really pretty on her and she was fairly pale like me. So let's hope this, hope this works, okay? And then I also got this. And I know you're probably thinking, why the heck did you buy the Maybelline? What's this actually called? Dream Blender Foundation Blending Sponge by Maybelline. Yes, it is new. And isn't it so cute? It's like a little kabuki handled blender. Aww, how cute are you? I don't know. Maybe it's just because you're tiny, but I find you adorable. <laughs> but why would I buy this? And did I buy the Velvet Foundation that's supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to apply it with this? No, I did not. And that is actually from watching the Shay XO. That girl, Shay XO. Her name's Shay. I'm sorry, Shay something. She's awesome. Like, her personality's great. Like, if my personality comes off half as funny as hers, that'd be great. But uh, I doubt it. She bought this, and she used it to apply the foundation and wasn't a fan. She preferred her Beauty Blender, which I do have the Real Techniques dupe that I got at Walmart for $5.99. Super soft. It's what I use to apply my foundation today. It's great. Um, but she used this, actually, and she said it was perfect. And, she, like, as she was doing it, she was, like, falling in love. Yeah, this is too hard for me as a Beauty Blender. It's... There's not much... Mm -hmm. mm, there's not much give with that. That's... I mean, it's softer than some that I've tried, but it's, it's pretty hard. I thought it would be. But she was using this to set her under eye and then wiped it off with a powder brush, like, and to set in here and in here. And I'm going to try that in this video. Just to let you know, I'm actually super excited because I'm not much for the whole baking concept. But she said this made her way of baking much easier. So I'm hoping if I can try it the easy way first, instead of trying it the hard way and learning... <laughs> that maybe I can work this out. I think it would look good to do some contouring with this since I am going to be trying a new blush. And then the last, oh, oops, sorry, last two things in my haul. To continue with Maybelline, I bought this skinny liner. I've been trying to find, like, a liquid liner that has a really skinny tip without being flimsy because I'm trying to get a really small cat eye since I do have hooded lids. Um, you know, it keeps just a big cat eye I don't think is very flattering on me personally not necessarily because my hooded lids I do think that contributes but it's just it's not my thing I prefer a smaller wing this is technically I think supposed to be for tight lining which would also be great because I struggle with tight lining just like I do false lashes I pretty much always poke myself in the eye regardless of if I'm on camera it just happens but I think this would be great for like lining the top part of your lash with a very tiny line and also tight lining with it and maybe the waterline since it's supposed to have like a micro a micro tip and I got it in the shade 210 defining black it says master precise skinny sorry 1.8 millimeter micro tip yeah that's tiny I've been in chemistry labs I'm not a chemistry major but that's pretty small for eyeliner and it says always sharp smooth gel intensity Ooh, I'm actually excited because I do love Maybelline as you guys know I use their foundation all the time so yeah there's that and I mean in the picture the girl's got this really tiny like tiny little liner line up down her top lid and bottom so I'm hoping I can mimic that and then the last two things in my haul these were actually on clearance they're not new the rest of the stuff I bought was relatively new but they're these Milani brilliant shine lip glosses I really don't like shiny lips and considering these were on clearance I got them both for 58 cents a piece the other one that I got was called and I'm not even that much for orange but 58 cents I couldn't pass that up I have a problem what can I say this one is 02 Mai Tai. Mai Tai? I think it's a fish. I'm not sure. And the other one is 01 Coral Crush. Um, I've actually tried these on over a couple liquid lipsticks just to s see if I even wanted to create a look with these. I actually kind of like them, especially this one, the um, 02 Mai Tai. This one has glitters in it. And when I swatched it, you can see the gold glitters there reflecting, but it was much more pigmented than this. Like, this is, this actually comes out. It's just a doe foot applicator. They're both the same. Um, a, just a flat, like a paddle, paddle doe foot. This is more of a very sheer orange gloss, and it's barely any tint of color. And the doe tip, just so you guys know, um, it's like 
medium flex. It's not the softest doe foot I've ever used, which the softest one I've ever used is by Stila, the long lasting liquid lipsticks. I love those colors. I hate that applicator so much. This one, a little bit stiffer, easier to use. Thank goodness. Same shape as the Stila one too. Different, um, like I said, firmness. Way less, way more firm than the Stila, less firm than others. So yeah, there's that.